in just a big open field and seeing all those, those beautiful colourful spires. It looks quite natural. It is a good place just to sit and be still, just enjoy the flowers and, uh, and, and, and the place. It's a very, very gentle, tranquil place. Well, in 1938, it was bequeathed to the National Trust um, with that obligation that we grew lupins, and the local people here became a bit worried and concerned that the lupins weren't growing anymore. So what we did, we just very simply looked at ways we could manage the field, and the lupins have been making a comeback. We put loads of seeds back in, we've been planting with community groups, and the local church wardens, people from the parish, they've all been coming out. And with a little bit of um, planting, seeding, and... Um, Bit, I don't know, a little bit of willpower, just come on lupins and we've managed to, with the cut and bailing, we've managed to restore the lupins. Our aspiration for this place would be to have a community orchard um, adjacent to the lupin field and we'd have wildflower meadow, ponds, the idyllic sort of um, community orchard with all the habitats you could have in there. We'd have sheep grazing and make cider and then the lupins would have a lot more, the lupin field would have a lot more meaning and we'd have um, a place where we could have more people involved as well.